Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to set up Unify Talk. I'm trying to show you there uh, to work with Unify Access um, and allow people to kind of ring the doorbell to get buzzed into the building. Before this video begins, I do want to quickly mention that I'm now offering IT and network consulting. Um, I do a lot with Ubiquity, Free Radius, Proxmox, anything you can think of. It's all on my website, so go check it out. And I look forward to working with you. So kind of the context behind this is that there's a client site I'm working on and essentially they have a phone system that is a PBX phone system that allows people to kind of push a button and it calls the phones and they can push a button to let somebody in. Um, and essentially they just want to do that same thing but with the Ubiquity ecosystem. So they want digital door access, they want um, digital phones, um, they don't want anything analog anymore. So, and before we begin, I do want to mention this is currently available on the G2 Pro, G3 Pro, the intercom, and there's probably a couple other devices for sure, but um, this kind of feature is only available on those devices. So you cannot have a standard reader. Um, actually, you cannot have a reader like this. You have to have a reader with a screen on it um, to be able to get the feature where you can kind of make a call to get buzzed in. So um, just keep that in mind, but let's go over here. Uh, we're gonna start off on Unify Access. And now if you go down to Caller Manager, this is where you're going to customize the screen for the Reader Pro. So um, in here, you can change the logo, change the heading, subheading, call method, um, etc. I prefer how it looks on the intercom device. Um, so they do, like I said, have the um, actual intercom, um, which is $479. Uh, but I do think it looks a lot better in terms of it's a physical button you press to place the call, the request entry. Um, it's a lot easier, especially for maybe older people that might be trying to get into the building. Um, they just have to press the button and it makes the call. Whereas in comparison on this reader, uh, you do have to slide the button essentially to place the call. So it's a little less intuitive um, unless you put a message on there that explains how to do it. But a lot of people don't even read messages, me included. So with that being said, um, this is kind of, like I said, how you kind of manage the interface. And you'll see up here, there's a doorbell call option. So you can click the button to add receivers. Now, um, this feature is solely based on your Unify account from everything I can see. So it does not matter if you have Unify Talk on the same console as Unify Access or Protect. That's all separate, except for Unify Protect and Access if you want to tie cameras in together, but that's a topic for a different day. So with that being said, you really want to make sure they have a Ubiquity SSO account. Um, this can be, the only permission they actually need is a door attendant feature, uh, the door attendant privilege for this to work. Um, essentially, you can either do a phone number, so it could call a phone number um, when somebody tries to buzz in, or you could just add a user, and that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So we're going to select Beam Networks here as our user. We'll click Save. So essentially in call group number one, which is what we just created, um, it's going to directly call Beam Networks. Um, and you can actually, you'll see, if I go back in here, you'll see there's a schedule option. So um, if I make this window a little bit smaller, uh, you'll see we do have a predefined schedule, or we could do a custom schedule based on holidays, weeks, whatever, the normal stuff you'd expect. So um, that's a really nice way of doing it. So you could say during business hours, you wanna call this person. If it's outside of business hours, call this person. Um, or you could even say like call every single phone outside of business hours, but during business hours, only call the receptionist, that kind of thing. Um, or if a receptionist has a lunch break, you can kind of place that all in there nicely. So um, you'll see here, if you go over to our topology, this is the topology for just the um, doorbell calling feature. So you'll see the front door goes directly to Beam Networks all the time. And that will change based on obviously who you have in the topology and who you have in the doorbell call feature. With that being said, essentially this feature is done. Now, if I do swipe and I, if I do place a call here, um, nothing's going to happen because I don't have a single account logged into the Beam Networks account. So um, we're gonna fix that right now. Okay, so uh, we are now logged into the Beam Networks account. Um, and that's kind of, like I said, one important thing to note. So you don't wanna have admin sign in on these phones. You don't wanna have anything like that. You want to have end users sign in with their Ubiquity accounts. So basically how this works on the phone is you'll go over down to your apps. Um, there's not a great way for me to show this, unfortunately. Uh, you'll go to access. It's going to show you a code or a QR code, whatever. Basically, you need to go on your Unify account um, to activate.ui.com and it's going to show this screen and you basically just type in the code um, and it says successful login on the Unify Talk phone. Um, so now over here, if we click on our console, um, you'll see in just a second, it should pop up. So right now you'll see on the phone, um, it's just the actual door. If we, it, if we click the button, obviously it does unlock the door. So. Um, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a call on the reader. So just by sliding up and you'll see it automatically pops up on the phone um, and it does show the camera of the reader. So if I move that, there we go. Um, you'll see a picture there. Um, you could just unlock the door 
um, and it does start talking between them. Um, or what you could have done is you could have accepted the call and talked to them before you unlock the door. Um, that's really cool. And it's literally just based on the Unify Access app on the phone. There's no additional setup required. Um, that was something that I tried to figure out for the longest time, how this is supposed to work, but it's really simple. Um, and the phone just kind of treats it like a notification. So um, whenever it does receive a call, um, through the uh, feature there, it, it will show up on the phones. Uh, that's really cool. I hope this answers anybody's questions about how this works. It's honestly really sweet. Um, I'm really excited to start using this. I think it's going to be a really nice feature to have. If you, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, that is all I have for this video, guys. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video.